Hello, this video will demonstrate how I took a .mov video, converted it to a file format that Windows Movie Maker can edit. To do this, you must actually convert the .mov file with converter software and Windows Movie Maker can edit that. To get the software, which is called WinFF, I go to Google, type in WinFF, I select the option that belongs to code.google.com, I select that for my download. It comes back and tells me that it's available at WinFF 1.4.2 installer. I click on that to begin the download process for the installer and the software. I will run the download and the installer and actually install the software on my PC. Once WinFF is completely downloaded and installed on your machine, you'll see this icon Double click on that icon to begin a conversion process on a .mov file that you've already shot. After double clicking on WinFF, this application screen comes up. Use the Add button to select the files to convert from a .mov format to a .avi format, which Windows Movie Maker will edit for you. So you select the files, the file or files, that you want to convert. Come down here and select your file format. I've chosen AVI. You need to select a preset. In this particular case, I've selected XVID widescreen. There may be better or more efficient options to select. I'm still playing with it. But right now, this gets me to where I need to be. And then lastly, you need to enter where you want the converted output AVI file to go. Once you've done all that, then you simply click on Convert. The conversion process begins and does take a little bit of time. When the conversion process ends, simply press any key on your keypad to discontinue the conversion process. Now simply go to the folder that you selected as your output folder to find your AVI file. I placed my converted AVI file here. To edit it, I simply right click, go to Open With, Windows Live Movie Maker, click on that, and I can now edit what used to be a .mov file in Windows Movie Maker. At the end, I'll convert it to a .wmv file uh, for use on YouTube. This video was shot using the LCD V3 viewfinder loop, which I modified to accept a focus more suited to my own vision.